Dawson Rider with you. YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Koguma and Oguma, I guess I said Oguma right, Voyager from Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. So this is Koguma Sky Blue's Mecha, the kid, who, um, not, well, not the bear. I mean, the bear could be a kid, we don't know. But this is his Mecha, or like sort of duo Mecha. It kind of reminds me in a way of uh, the Rhino Zord with like the Armadillo Zord popping out of it. But so you have this the larger bear here, and then this little adorable dude, this little unicycle bear pops out. And he's pretty basic, there's no, not really an, any amazing look or detail to him, but it's just kind of an adorable little feature, both for the toy and uh, just in the show. And you can stand him up, he actually rests on that, which is kind of nice, I, I appreciate that. And then he also has this, so, I mean, you can't really that successfully roll him. But yeah, you can do that, and like I said, he nestles in there nicely. There's a little peg right here, so he secures, so that's nice, so he doesn't just stay in there on his own, so he doesn't fall out when you're messing with him. But yeah, overall, I do dig the design of this thing. I don't think it's one of my absolute favorites, but I do like it. I think the color works well. I like the overall look. I like that this kind of reminds me of like a football player. Like I said, I really like this element to it. Um... I like the tires on it. It's just kind of one of those ones where I'm like, I like it, but it's not a favorite. Um, it can roll there, and like the tires actually look kind of neat rolling. I don't know. That's like a, this is this is this review, guys. This is this is how exciting my life is. The tires look neat rolling here, as you can see, via the via the tire action. I can't even say via in this weird like infomercial voice I'm talking in. I don't know why I haven't stopped yet. Anyway, so like all the others, uh, the Kutama is a part of him, so you can take that off, and we will show its sounds um, in the I almost said the driver uh, in the size. Of blaster so let's go ahead and do that shall we it will not make any different sounds in Ryu commander's staff or the weapon because that doesn't have readers just in case there's anyone that doesn't know that that's not familiar with it So you get all of your standard sounds out of it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's, I'm just turning that off so it doesn't make any more noises. So yeah, so now you can transform into Sky Blue if you want. Well, not really. It's like not a morphing toy instead of not a flying toy. You know how it is. Anyway, so let's pop that back on there. So like all the others, except for, well, I guess Ryu and Shishi, he can become an arm and a leg, and I actually remembered it this time. Uh, for the arm, it's pretty easy. You just pull these forward, uh, leave Little Bear in there, and pull these down. Well, actually, actually, there we go. That's good enough for now. And then let me pull in. I have like a uh, sort of bearish bones version. <laughs> Bare bones. Get it? I didn't even mean that. Poet didn't even know I rhymed those words. But I got him missing an arm, so he's ready for this. Um, probably saw this in, you know, the other review. But, oh, you didn't see that. But, yeah, so there you go. Got the arm on there. He keeps the little dude in there like as his little pet attacker. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, it's not one of my favorite arms. It just kind of feels like, oh hey, it's there. Um, you can also use him as a leg. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me pop him out of there. You know what? I'm done with you, bear. You're going in, in timeout after this. Let's take out one of these guys. And unfortunately, there's nowhere to put this guy now because these guys cannot become legs. So, or arms. As I'm taking it off the leg, my, I ruined my own making fun of myself. Take a real quick cut here because I almost forgot before I put it on the leg to show uh, this little bit here when you shine the light through it, when it lights up through QNO, that it will show the little uh, cockpit version of the of the image back there. So I wanted to, to do that before we strapped the leg on so I didn't have to detransform it. Anyway, so for this, just fold these up and then these kind of stay back like this. And then uh, the little bear is actually gonna ride on the side and you can put it on either side depending on what leg you're using. So it becomes like a little sidecar. So that's kind of neat. And then just pop them on there and there you have the leg mode, which honestly like either of them I don't think are the most creative ones, but I think the leg mode, I prefer to the arm mode for bear just because I think that's really funny and kind of adorable to have the little sidecar dude there.
But anyway, that's about it. Um, overall, this is a pretty decent Voyager. Um, it's almost similar in a way to, uh, like, the gimmicks, where this is the same quality as the others, um, in terms of what it does and, like, you know, the versatili versatility, versatility, um, and, I uh, like, look and whatever, but it just kind of depends on your taste, whether you really like this design or a completionist. Overall, I'm pleased with it. It's not my favorite, but it does have some unique things I really like about it, namely the little bear that pops out and rides as a sidecar in its leg mode. So anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the Rizzy Podcast at writersmanandrumbles.com, and of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.